Good afternoon and welcome once again to my daily chat. This is episode number 557. And the topic today is going to be a shocker. <laughs> the topic today is, ladies, are you becoming the man you want to marry? I hope that triggers you. Well, at least maybe not you, but somebody you know. If I've got to reframe this because a friend of mine gave me some feedback yesterday. Um, before I jump into that and all that stuff, let me start with who I am and what I'm about. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert and help strong, successful women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the, champion for the divine feminine. And every day for pretty much two years, well, for two years, but for most of the two years, I've been doing these daily Facebook Live talks called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Hearts. And today's episode is number 558, seven? Whatever it is at the top, I just realized I blanked on which one it is. It happens, that's the way it is. But the title I do remember, which is, ladies, are you becoming the man you want to marry? And the reason I'm calling it that is because actually um, a friend of mine's post came up and I saw that um, quote meme in the middle of her um, post. Is one, you know, you got, if you notice right now, Facebook's doing these year in review things. And so everyone's popping up. Mine came up this morning. Other people's come up other times. And one of them had in it a picture of a woman saying, are you becoming the man you want to marry? And I went, oh, that's a juicy topic. So I thought I'd just play with it and, and share some thoughts and inspiration, hopefully, because these are never scripted, as you may know, and uh, we'll see where we go. So if you're here for the first time, thanks for watching. I do these every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time. It is Facebook Live first, and then it'll be on YouTube if you're watching it there, and then on my podcast. And so this topic is a, a spin, a flavor, a different piece of what I've done before in the area of women being more masculine. But I wanted to put it this way because you might be sitting there going, Oh crap, that's me. You might not, but you might know somebody's like this. So let me just say this is a, maybe a friend of yours, and if you think this is good for them, share it with them, because it's nothing to do with you, of course, maybe just them. So for the ladies who are feeling that, or I should say, for the ladies who are questioning this idea that maybe they're becoming the man they want to marry, let me qualify a bit more so you know what I mean, then, you, then they can see if it is that is for them or not. Not for you, I know. You don't have an issue with this. <laughs> so... A woman becoming the man they want to marry, in quotes, is a woman who basically is so fiercely independent they don't need anybody else. And I don't mean this from a place of independence of being free and comfortable, but actually a way of being, um, excuse me. <coughs> it's going away. It is definitely going away. Um, the cough, that is. The fiercely independent comes from a place of fear for fiercely meaning that they're afraid of letting their walls down and they're afraid of trusting men now there are women out there i know because i've got some clients like this and some friends like this not you i know who have been found found themselves in a place where being in a relationship is a very dangerous place to be for them energetically because they don't know if they can trust a man to honor them and support them where they want to go and so this fierce independence excludes men from being in a relationship with them and part of that is the um wiring the programming that a lot of women have taken on because of the way the society is built is that you've got to take charge and get your own life out there and make it happen and be successful and don't need a man and it's it's unfortunately it's a counter it's a counterproductive way of being because the truth is in business and relationship there's a different well that's the thing it's supposedly a different conversation but it's a it's a it's the same thing happening both places in business women are learning and have learned how to be so strong, vital, powerful, inspired, and getting things done, which is amazing. Yet they've done it from a place that's very masculine. And when they go home to their lives, they carry that masculine energy with them, which means any man they meet tends to be meeting at the same level. Not a masculine feminine relationship or masculine feminine conversation, but a masculine masculine energetic, which is a combative energetic. And it's not particularly sexy. Um, and I'm using the term masculine and feminine to mean polarity differences, which I believe are fundamental for a great sexual chemistry. And let me qualify this a bit further. Masculine and feminine energies are in all of us. We carry both. But for most of us, we have a general tendency to lean one end of the spectrum or the other, more masculine, more feminine. And it's not gender required, although the predominantly ma male population, sorry, the predominantly masculine energy resides in the male population, the predominantly female, feminine energetic resides in the female but not all 
and there are relationships that work when it's the other way around, where a woman's more masculine, a man's more feminine. I tried that, didn't work. Um, three relationships, in fact, that's what put me to this work, because um, I didn't know how to do it. So to get back into the details of this, women have been trained by the culture we live in, by society, especially the women who are driven, goal-driven, high-achieving, major success um, holding women have been trained by the culture that they're in to compete with the men, act like the men and beat the men at their own game. That's not a good school skill set to apply to your dating life. And this is the, the um, I'm sorry, the crux, but it's the, it's the um, choice point. That's a good word, choice point, that sounds better. So if you are, no, I'm not gonna say if you, if you know a woman like this, this may be relevant to them. I was coached by a friend of mine yesterday to not actually say, put it in your face because for those women out there who are high-achieving women, you don't need me to tell you anything. But you may be interested in entertaining some ideas I'm suggesting, so I'm suggesting it's your friend, not you. It's sneaky, I know, but hopefully it will give you some um, food for thought. So, choice point. Being so driven and so high-achieving in the business world for you women, for, for women out there, <coughs> Excuse me. Is something that has been long time, a long time coming. The culture we live in has been dominated by the male energetic in business. If women compete in that arena, they didn't change the the environment; they adapted to the environment. It's like lady, the ladies who do this have took put on the masculine way of doing things to get work done, succeed, successful, run companies, be entrepreneurs, and however it's been working out. The choice point is to learn how to be in relationship from a different perspective than from being business. And the shift to take it away from being the man you want to marry, because that's the problem, is when you're in your masculine too much, you're, fit, you're sitting in the role that the man would normally put, um, exhibit, carry on, express. And la the ladies out there who are watching this who know it's for them, because I know it's not for you. <laughs> it sounds weird to say it this way, but I, I'm working around. I'm doing, a, I'm doing a, um, it's a sideways approach. So by understanding this, uh, this, um, this piece, you can learn and discover and for yourself really know that your gift, your ability to shift, because that's one of the gifts the feminine has very easily, shift from masculine to feminine energy very easily when you remember. And when women remember to do this, they can attract amazing relationships because they own their feminine as powerfully as they own their masculine in business. And this is one of the things. When women own their masculine skills in the business world, which is powerful, dynamic, exciting, successful, inspiring, when you shift to your feminine, you don't give any of that energy up. You just shift from masculine to feminine, which means that you have inspirational, powerful, dynamic, successful energy in your feminine when you are moving into the dating arena. Now that could be fun. And for me, in my work with my clients, I love seeing women express the way. One, because it's extremely exciting for me as a man to witness this beauty and magnificence showing up that way. But secondly, I know that they won't settle for a crappy relationship. Because when women choose their feminine power, the feminine dynamic, the feminine strength, one, they're tuned to a higher frequency so they won't attract lower level relationships, even though lower level relationships may pursue them. But secondly, they will learn how to wield the power of the, well, I'm calling it the, the priestess, but the divinity and authority of the feminine warrior energy will be um, expressed and utilized to attract only that that comes in the highest level possible. Put it in English terms. I know it's a bit esoteric there for a moment, and, and archetypal. Ladies, when you when ladies are looking for a relationship that wants to really be supportive and inspiring for who they are, they need a truly masculine man who stands in this place where he can hold the space, be fully present, and present seeing with his beingness, so that she can trust that, and he can trust that she can be in her flow and her divine expression. In relationship, this is profound. In relationship, this is effective. In relationship, it's the ultimate way of being in a really. Um, polarized, <laughs> it just in choice of words, but certainly a dynamic relationship that can be really powerful. And you can have that if you really wish. Now, I want this point clear again, because I said it earlier, we'll say it one more time. High achieving women who have been powerful and dynamic in the business world, succeeding and being powerfully effective in the business world, are wearing a masculine suit, so to speak, to do that, which is fine, if that suit is left at work. 
when these ladies are really clear they want to be in a relationship, they learn how to just simply shed the masculine polarity, environment, energetic, suit and clothes, so to speak, and embody the feminine, which is the true nature for most women. Again, most of us said that before. And by being that feminine energy, they will be attracted most to a very strong and masculine man. And ladies, I think most women will know this, that when they're truly in their feminine, they know what a masculine man feels like energetically. It's when you get less than that that you won't be happy. I'm just seeing there's another way of saying this. I think I've covered this a few ways, so you got the point. Um, I'm watching the clock because I've got it's it's holiday season. I got I got an event. I'm shooting pictures for tonight. It's a busy life right now. So I want to make sure you got this point because it sounds simplistic, but it truly is fundamentally profound when you realize if you're a woman who's doing this, if you're a woman who's been really caught up in the business world and acting like a man and not knowing how to disengage that, that's one of my skill sets to help you with that. So for those women out there who, not you, because I know you're not doing this, but for women who know who are caught up in the business world, so successful, and so dynamic, but they've lost touch with how to be in their feminine and not sure how to get back to it to be in a relationship, send them to me. I'll help them with that. That's why I have a program called Attract the Man You Want. Not the Attract the Man You Are, but Attract the Man You Want. And also have coaching that I've, I offer and I'm going to say this now, it's been on my mind for a while. Um, January, my rates are going up. So this is a good time to talk to me about getting in for coaching if you want to get support because next month, which is in less than a month, um, I'm, I'm changing paradigms, we say. Anyway, um, with that, I'm going to put the links in the comments for my Attract the Man You Want program, so you can check it out if you're a lady who really wants to find out how to get that relationship you really truly desire. And I'll also put a link into a discovery session with me for those women who want to find out how to get what they want the right way. Well, a maybe more effective way, let's put it that way. There's no right way. Well, that's debatable. Okay, I'm, I'm, arguing, I'm arguing with myself now, that's ridiculous. So with that, um, if there's any questions or comments about this broadcast, please put them in the comments below and I'll respond when I sign off. This is my daily Facebook Live every day, 5 p.m. Pacific time, unless otherwise notified. So that's why it's done now. Be back in tomorrow at the same time. And the links for the replays on YouTube, on Facebook, they're on my business page, on Barry, which is barryselby.author. I then put them onto my YouTube channel, which is my name, Barry Selby, as all my social media is. And there's a playlist on there called Messages of the Masculine. Please subscribe to my channel, by the way, I'm on YouTube. And I'm now adding them to my podcast, which is also Messages from the Masculine on iTunes. You can subscribe to that and download the audio, listen to them when you want. And uh, I think that's about it. I hope this has given you some food for thought and give you some questions. If there's more questions you don't feel answered in this broadcast, please put them below and I will respond once after I sign off. And again, I'll put the links in the comments for Discovery Session and for my Attract the Man You Want program, which is on holiday special right now, because it's the holidays. And I think that's about it. I mean, there's more to talk about, I know, but it's not fresh and not available and it's not right there on the uh, on the playing field yet. So this is where it ends, I believe. So I appreciate you watching as always. Thanks for being with me. I will see you again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, your homework, if you choose, is to consider where you are in this paradigm, if you're single, and what really you want in a relationship. Answer those questions for yourself and you might just attract it. With that, I thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. You take care. Bye.